Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today in this 3D model tutorial, I would like to show you how to make this eternity ring with the intertwined structure for the wire construction. Are you ready? Let's get started. This ring looks complicated, but it's actually quite simple. We just need to figure out one of this shape and then we can repeat it with the polar array command and setting the stone with the same number on the polar array. So that's starting from the scratch. We're going to come at the front view and use the circle command. I'm going to snap it into the zero right here. Usually I have 16 millimeter as a diameter, but in this case, since my pipe is going to be one millimeter, so I'm going to type it 8.5 for the radius instead. So that way I can still maintain the 16 millimeter in diameter for my ring size. All right, so with this one, we are going to do a test. First of all, I would like to rebuild this one and then into a six point and make sure that you have a degree three. Understand the degree is quite important. So if you are interested, I do have a video. I'm going to put it right top corner to explain it. What is a degree one, two, three here in the Rhino 3D software. Let's continue to work on this ring. Let's click OK first. And then I know that in this three point, I need to do some adjustment. If first of all, I like to have all three point go up a little bit and have the middle one go up even more. All right, so that way in my perspective, you're going to see something like this. In order to get it high and low different look, one of the point next to it, it need to go a little bit lower. So you got the one going high to the peak and something go lower here. Once we got that, I also wanted to bring up those three and I wanted to move it down a little bit and moving the specific on the middle one to wall to the bottom a little bit more. So I can get this type of the shape and let's give it a try with the pipe command. So we're going to pipe in this guy and the diameter is going to be 0.5 and let's hit enter. So then we got the first component right there with this first component. We're going to give it a try by doing the polar array. And we're going to snap in into the zero point because that's where original the ring center. And we're going to do the same number for 16 and see what will we come up with. Now we have this as apparently is kind of a getting too close to each other. So we might need to have a bigger deviation. So what we can do also is we can go back to this one. And I wanted to make sure that this one can come out a little bit more. So we want to bring this one out a little bit more and we may want to bring this in a little bit more. So try to give in a different deviation there. So once we have that again, we want to pipe it again. This time when we are piping with the same diameter, but I want to make sure my history is on. So if I'm changing anything later on and that will change as well. Meanwhile, I'm going to change the color to the red color. So it's easier for us to see where's the original one. And we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to use the polar array snapping into the zero and the number. We're going to keep 16 there and make sure that we want to record the history. And let's take a look on this. All right. So now it's a little bit better. As you can see on my render view, I have this really nice uh, curve there, but I may want to have a lot more tweak in there. First of all, you can find an original curve and then you can have them going up a little bit and everything is going to move. If you do want to have more space uh, looking, you might want to keep dragging until you find the best angle for it, right? And if you feel like this is too tall, actually you can have them going down. All right. So you keep tweaking until you find the things that you like. Once you like everything, you're going to pick up everybody. And we're simply just going to use the mirror command and we're going to mirror it back to the other side and then we'll get something like this. You can keep adjusting and find a shape that you like. And now let's talk about the stone. You can make the stone a bit bigger if you want to, uh, whatever the fitting into the space. Once again, you can download the stone at the description below. I have a stone for you to download after you sign up the newsletter. Okay. So now we have this one. I want to make sure my vertex is on and I wanted to draw a cylinder, actually a tube, and we're going to snap into this vertex right there. 
All right. Sometimes it will snap really crazy. I will just disable everything so it won't snap on anything there. And then I wanted to create the tube looking more like this and going up a little bit like this. So this will be the under bezel and for us to use. Meanwhile, I'm also going to creating a straight line and I simply just going to pipe this one. In this case, I wanted to radius for 0.4 millimeter, which is like 20 gauge wire there. And then I'm going to move it out just a little bit. All right, for the rendering purpose, we don't need it to be super long. So I'm just going to do something like this, right? Depends on how you like it. You can have a multiple prong. In this case, I usually have two if the space is really tight. And actually I want to try the new thing. So let's try polar array. And I want to make sure the vertex is on. I want to snapping into the vertex and I actually want to have six of them. And let's take a look on and see how that look like. All right. So if everything look right to you, let's go ahead to group it temporary and we're going to bring this back to the lower spot. All right. So now we have this one. We're just going to make a duplication for exactly the same number on our polar array. So I'm going to pick up this one and then that's coming into the polar array, snapping into the zero. I want the same number for 16 here and then for 360 degree and then we'll get something like this. Right now, notice that it is jamming a little bit there. So I may need to move in this in other angles. So let me go back one more time with this one. I'm going to rotate it. So 360 degree divided by 12 and I do not need a copy. So let's click OK. And we don't need the original one. So we have something like this. Now, if I'm going to use the polar array, and I'm going to snapping into the zero. Uh, polar array number is 16, so that's how we get this look. Let's take a look on the render view. Now you may notice that the prong is a stick it off on the bottom. If that is the case, you might want to trim it out at the beginning before you do the polar array. And that will be today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the way that I model, check out my course on my website for intro to intermediate level that show you all the basic setup and going to work on the practical piece for jewelry care design. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.